Hello students, this is your course on content marketing. In this video on different types of content formats, we are going to talk about quizzes and tools as types of formats used for content marketing. Quizzes and tools are actually something that are uh, additional value providing resources generated by a company usually with the intention of um, entertaining and educating their target customer at the same time offering them something some uh, tool some um, resource which they can use at a later date at a later time and remember the company by so these are like uh, a way of a retaining customers uh, mind space and having a positive brand image created in their mind time and again to begin with quizzes are clickbait and when i say clickbait it means that moment you uh, create this kind of content uh, you are basically trying to lure customers in to uh, your website to your social platform through uh, a frivolous kind of a content which is uh, a quiz so uh, what you may be talking about in the rest of the website or on the rest of your social feed could be something very different, very serious, more mainstream and more about your product. But a quiz can be a lighter way, a more entertaining way of just reeling your customers in. They can drive huge traffic to the website just by entertaining and exciting the target audience. So that's why they are considered as clickbait, but they do have a lot of benefits for the company that is using them. For content marketing, both knowledge test quizzes and personality type quizzes work very well. A knowledge test quiz is when, wherein you um, challenge the reader, challenge the uh, target customer that how much do they actually know about something. And uh, this could be something to do with your product. This could be something to do with a challenge, a life habit, which um, your product might be assisting in or maybe uh, providing a solution for. And in doing so, you are making your uh, customer more self-aware and uh, obviously you're fitting in your product in there somewhere. So they can uh, see, clearly see that, where they truly stand and how they need the solution that you're providing. Similarly, with personality type quizzes, what you're trying to do is once again, make your customers more self-aware. What is their personality? It's a way of complimenting your customer, making them feel good, positive about themselves. And then uh, in an indirect manner, uh, suggest to them how a product in your portfolio can be a good fit for them. The results of every quiz can provide a platform for indirect promoting. The brand's offerings or acquiring valuable information about your target customers. For instance, if you have a slightly longer quiz, let's say with 10 questions or so, uh, and the customer is invested at least 3-4 minutes in doing it, then you can ask them to submit their email address or log in uh, by their Google or Facebook account to uh, access the final results. And most customers land up doing it, giving you valuable contact information for later interaction with such customers. And uh, content for quizzes ideally should be entertaining, but at the same time, thought-provoking and supported by attractive images, which can uh, make them feel that they're not really working, they're not really uh, wasting their time uh, doing something or uh, reading uh, a marketing copy. They should feel um, that they have gotten some kind of relaxing value, entertaining value out of uh, your quiz. And at the same time, they've learned something. Then quizzes can be promoted on social media platforms and that's generally how um, content marketers go but they can also be promoted and distributed through email marketing campaigns uh, wherein uh, you can invite customers to take a quiz on your website by sending an email to them and this way you can dramatically increase your website traffic as well. Now, uh, usually quizzes are hosted on the company website because that's how you can make the most out of this as a clickbait and you can definitely have a marked improvement in your SEO and your search engine uh, result page ranking. 
so they they definitely serve that purpose and at the same time there is a promotion scope and there is also a scope for uh, collecting leads and uh, customer information so it's a win win when you're designing such kind of a content uh, here as you can see airbnb has uh, used the quiz as a content format very successfully so what they do is they they have a eight seven eight question quiz designed to ask uh, their uh, website visitors that what kind of uh, travel habits they have uh, and questions like these when uh, settling in for a long flight what movie would you choose a comedy action documentary historical drama or musical and so these and similar questions are asked and then there's an algorithm based response uh, for the um, reader which usually guides them to a destination uh, where uh, they should take their next trip and within this result itself for instance for a particular user the result might say that barcelona or spain is your city and where you should be visiting because it is flush with sumptuous wine and tapas and Barcelona is a true Epicurean's bliss and um, meaning that if you're into food, if you're into lifestyle, wine, food, uh, living the high life, enjoying it all the way uh, with good food and enchanting uh, scenery, then uh, this is the place to be. So with this result, you uh, are then indirectly uh, prompted to explore Barcelona travel packages offered by Airbnb and uh, sometimes you, ca you can naturally simply just click on this and uh, a lot of these uh, packages are pr uh, promoted in the sidebar of that page for you to uh, get hooked on to one, one such page and explore further. So, so what the company has done is they've created a quiz to help their customers decide make up their mind and choose a good destination for themselves. And once they've done that, the company is there with the uh, combination of services, experiences, travel, booking, uh, support to uh, help these customers realize their dream uh, vacation. And if, if this is not a great use of content marketing, then I don't know what is. Then uh, these content marketing uh Tools like Bus Sumo, uh, Hunter, then Ninja Outreach, Google Alerts are actually uh, companies that are great examples who are using some of uh, the tools in their arsenal uh, as uh, content marketing tools, actually, wherein a tool is designed, keeping in mind that a lot of their target customers would want to use this tool. And they would want to at least try it for free. And by giving it to them for free, you can uh, develop a habit in your target customers of, uh, depending on that tool. Once that happens, you can encourage them to, uh, of course, upgrade and uh, purchase the paid version of the tool. And uh, the, these are some of the apps that have been using this uh, strategy very successfully. So as a content marketer, you also have to learn that how uh, you can also design some basic tools to um, offer to your uh, target customers. Um, maybe you can offer in, in the way of uh, limited period free trials or free membership to early signups. Um, or you, and then you can eventually motivate them to uh, buy the paid tools. The email marketing campaigns uh, are regularly aligned to promote tools like these, wherein uh, content marketers who know that they have, let's say, a list of about 10 tools, free tools available on the website. From time to time, uh, they organize email campaigns that encourage new uh, and existing customers to try out these tools uh, for seven days, 10 days, 14 days, whatever, and figure out how valuable they are. And uh, in a way, encourage them to explore the rest of the content on the website, at least come on the website, thereby increasing the traffic 
and um, explore the value that the company has to offer. So very often, just like a quiz and entertaining uh, clickbait, a tool uh, really connects with uh, knowledge seeking and value seeking kind of customers who don't want to waste their time. They know what they're looking for. And if they uh, see something of value, they're likely to explore it. So this is a different kind of clickbait for the uh, ambitious and technical kind of an audience. What you see here is an example of Google Analytics. Uh, their, their homepage itself says that Google Analytics gives you the free tools. You need to analyze data for your business in one place so you can make smarter decisions. And uh, the call to action button that you can uh, see there is start measuring. The moment you click on it, it asks you to register. It asks you to log in. And that's how you set up your account and you become uh, an active user of this application. So the hook is that there are free tools, av tools available, but to use those tools, you need to download the application. You need to register. You need to become a customer. So it's a great way in which the company has used these free tools uh, as a type of content, which um, and sometimes dynamic content, which uh, their target customers would be interested in using. Uh, what you can see at the bottom is an example of various dashboards which uh, ca can be custom designed using the Google Analytics tool. And uh, that can pull information, that can pull data from various sources like Google Ads, Search Console, or uh, Google Sheets and Data Studio, uh, or the um, combination of sources like Google Analytics or Google Search Console. And these could be uh, suited for different, different types of business requirements. And in uh, very succinctly designed snapshots, they are able to communicate huge value to any uh, reader who is um, going through this page that this is all that I can do if only I register or if only I just download the app of Google Analytics. So these tools, which are free, are act actually serving as a great uh, marketing content for the company. Then. Uh, they also have other services uh, which are available um, mostly for small businesses, for uh, enterprises, and they have additional resources available. And uh, for these also, you need to sign in and then get started. You have to create, create an account. And they are also, once again, uh, the tools that they're offering to you for free. But once again, you can only access as the free tools if you are a member of the we uh, website or the app or if you are a registered user so uh, all the company is asking you is you be an active user you have an account and you get to use their tools for free so uh, obviously there's a lot of thought that is going into uh, creating those tools but the agenda is clear they are designed for marketing purpose they are designed as rewards for customers to get associated with the company, get associated with the app. So they, they are not the uh, money makers for the company. They are there to increase membership, increase subscriptions, increase traffic, in, increase interest and downloads for the company. So that, that's how they work as a content marketing format. So that's about quizzes and tools being used as uh, content formats for marketing purpose. Next up, we'll talk about courses, both free and paid, and how they serve their purpose in the content marketing context. Until then, thank you.